Uh, yeah, this is uh, Dave from CheapBooks.com playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the AMX 1390. This is a French Tier 8 light tank, and the map is South Coast. Um, this was a great game. Um, unfortunately, I made a key mistake at the end of the game, which prevented me from doing additional damage and additional Time kills. And I was a little bit disappointed that... Um, one of my allies, one of my teammates got some credit because he lived longer. But, you know, I really hauled butt on this game. Uh, so this is a spotting bush I often go to. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you can, it's very difficult to spot on this map. I haven't perfected spotting on this map. And one of the reasons why is because people kind of change the strategies. There's different strategies based on what tier you're playing. And over the years, people tend to go different ways. I don't have a, a really solid spotting strategy here. So I usually stay here for a little bit, see if somebody comes whipping through. Um, and uh, I usually don't expect to be able to do any spotting. I think the tiger is shot at the bush that was next to me. Right over here. Hoping to get a lucky shot in. Um... The mission is LT-15, Aggressive Recon Specialist. I had to do 5,000 spotting damage. And it's I, I have completed the mission, just not on this map. Um, so I ended up shooting a lot of tanks on this map. And I think my team won. This is the game... This is the game that really made me a believer in the AMX 1390. Even though I've done 200... I've played it so... Basically, I played this game, this tank, so much that I already have the Lorraine 40T that comes after it. I just got it a few days ago. But this was like a perfect final game for the AMX 1390. So I'm spotted, which means I have to find a place to hide. There is artillery, so you have to find a place, as they say, that is arty safe. I don't see the target. You're gonna see some hit and run tactics in this uh, video, and you're gonna see a lot of stupid things that the enemy does. And you can see my allies are not the brightest either. I don't know what's going on over here, but they don't seem to be unaware of what's going on. So when he fires, I can... You know, when he fires or when he points his gun away, I'm going to take a shot at him. So I'm watching his gun. I don't have the gun depression, though. And plus his ally is shooting at me. So it was very dangerous what I did. Um, some of my shots missed because of gun depression. Um, like I said, somebody was shooting at me. Where did they go? But, uh... Target acquired. One of the strategies I've been using is fire and forget, you know. That guy knows I'm here, but he's not going to shoot Target at me if acquired. I leave. So if I leave and go somewhere else, um... I'm going to try and surprise other people. Uh, this guy's an easy target, which obviously means I'm going to go after him. Uh, obviously, I screwed up on my way there. Enemy armor is destroyed. It was because I wasn't loaded. I seem to recall that I knew I wanted to hunt him down, but I left a split second too early. I try to anticipate. What other people might do is wait until they're loaded. I don't do that. I say, okay, it's going to take me two seconds more to load, so how long does it take for me to get there? And I try to time it so that I arrive right when I'm ready to fire. And I got there a little bit early. 
And you're going to see how quickly tanks forget that there's danger. Ready to fire. Usually I use the auto-aim when I show up, and then I switch to the manual aim um, once I've, I've got the gun stabilized, and I am a, have to decide am I going to stay and shoot or run and hide. You know, once you make those types of decisions, you switch to the, to the sniper mode to get a more accurate shot. And also, if you know that some, like someone else killed that tank, I think. So that's a situation where you got to think real fast. This IS is going to learn a lesson, and I'm going to teach it to him. I'm trying to time my reload. Permission to engage. Enemy armor is hit. Penetration. Now, one of the things I did wrong here is that I'm shooting at him, but I don't know where his gun is pointed. You can see now his gun is pointed away from me. You always want to know where the gun is pointed. So I got some shots in, but then I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to go somewhere else. Maybe he knows I'm here. I don't know. Target acquired. I don't see the target. But now he's got trouble elsewhere. So what I did was I backed off a little bit. Even though I didn't have to. Just so I could uh, surprise him once again. Ready to fire. Enemy is hit. Gotcha. And it paid off. So he probably had no clue that I was there. And uh, I was able to sneak uh, four shots in. Or around that many on him. So now I noticed that... Uh, the enemy is on the other side of the map, on the east side in the E0 region. So I gotta find a safe way to get there. I don't want to go through the center because I know that there's like a KV4 or a KV2. There's there's trouble over there. So I decide to take the long route, and we've got a couple of tanks I'm gonna come up against, and I'm gonna do something that's gonna be a wrong move because I misjudge how many tanks are there. Keep in mind that your hero is the T-49, hiding in a bush. You can't get a clear shot over here. That's something that I kind of know. So we got the Tiger 1. And I take shots like that. I, I would absolutely take that shot. Penetration. It's just that you got to get your mouse accuracy, you know, it... Sometimes your mouse doesn't point exactly where you want it to. Permission to engage. You have my permission. Enemy is hit. Ooh, missed a shot. They're kissing. Enemy armor is destroyed. Okay, so we got three kills. You notice that I had two shells left, and I decided to reload. It's better to use the reload option, which I believe is the letter C on the keyboard, rather than uh, firing off your rounds. And I, I mean, like, when you're new, you might just fire the rounds into the air. Now, this is where I'm going to make a key mistake. There's got to be... I know there's some tanks over here, but I really misjudged what was going to happen, especially since I'm not reloaded yet. But I think I see the T-29, and I'm like, oh, he's an easy target. And uh, I've got a lot of health left. I'm just going to run in kamikaze. But you got to do it the right way, and the right way I didn't realize until after it was too late. Ready to fire. We didn't okay. So he's dead. Now keep in mind, I don't know if you saw what, what happened. Keep in mind, I saw the T-29. I know there's more tanks here, but I have no idea. If you rewind a few seconds, you're going to notice that there was a glimpse of a tank over on the right, which apparently is the IS-6. You see him right there on the right. So 
there's an IS-6 right there. And I really didn't notice it, apparently. So at this point, I'm like, okay, i got to hunt down the next tanks. There's got to be two or three tanks here. I didn't realize that they were right there, and they're probably already tracking me. Now, he, this is where it gets weird. Okay, if I'm going to realize, yes, there's an IS-6 right here. You can see I've got my allies here who are... There's the hero T-49 way in the back behind the E-75. Someone's going to say, oh, T-49, you carried the team. I really don't think he did. You know, he he pulled his weight after I died, but, uh, you know, I was the one pursuing these guys. Okay, so anyway, got two allies behind me. Got the IS-6 over here. I got four shots. I could kill him in two shots. If I do it right. Ready to fire. Miss. And then out of nowhere there's a Tiger 1. Now this is why camouflage is important. Look how far away he is. 41 meters. And that tank is 31 meters. So we're talking about 70 meters when I was over here is how far away he was. And I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him through all the thickets, his camel ratings and all that stuff. And that is what led to my downfall. Right there. Um, so the tiger was able to finish me off. When I saw the tiger, I crapped my pants, basically. <coughs> and I was like, uh-oh, I can't take on both of these tanks. Uh, so the E-75 put, put one into that tiger, it looks like. Okay, so the T-49 came in, nailed him with uh, 24 hit points. Um, you're going to see a comment at some point where someone praises the T-49. But this was, a, like I said, it was a killer game for me. I was all over the map. Um, I don't remember if we were behind. I don't remember what the score was. But uh, I love this game. This was one of my favorite games. I did like 4,000 damage, some amazing amount of damage. And I really don't fire the gun on my AMX 1390 very much. I am looking forward to getting a T-49. <coughs> so they are coming back into the base. One of our tracks is damaged. One of our tracks is damaged. I don't know why he didn't take out that T-71. What he was afraid of. Um... I don't remember how the game ends, but I'm going to guess that the E-75 is probably going to die. Okay, notice the comment from the T-71, I got to get APCR on this. He's making some sort of an excuse as to why he died. Okay, so we've got the KV-4. who is going to probably duke it out with that T-49. I don't know. Look at that gun. KV-4 is a tough tank, and the T-49 is probably reloading. Missed his shot, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got one tank left, the T-49. I think he is going to pull it off. And I think he is going to kill the three remaining tanks. Okay, so I'm sorry I missed that shot. Um, I, I pointed out that the Tiger was in the east, but it looks like he relocated. I'm assuming he could take out that Tiger in one shot with his uh, derp gun. Okay, there's the comment. 
T-49 MVP that was made by the Pershing. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like, okay, so maybe he didn't pull it off of the team. <laughs> but, um, you know, he survived a little bit longer. He probably got one shot in. No, he got that 29 hit point shot on the Tiger on some tank that he, he killed. Maybe there were two Tigers. Maybe that's the reason why I got confused. And uh, he hit the KV-4, but, you know, I really went crazy on this game. I got 4,000 damage, and I had a killer game. It was kind of hurtful. Nobody realized exactly how much work you do. Okay, so, um, but I do have a r lot of respect for these little T-49 tanks. Uh, I don't own one yet. I will have one uh, probably in a month or two. Really excited about getting it. Okay, so that is the AMX 1390. Uh, the map is uh, South Coast, um, and I had four kills. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.